The National Transportation Safety Board is on its way to the crash site. And crews are now working to move that plane from that area. KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen is live at the crash site with what he's learned from this investigation, Jeff. So Leslie and Christine, here is the plan moving forward. Investigators are going to bring in a crane and they're going to use it to lift that plane right there and then move it over that fence and place it onto that open field where you see the fire engine right there. It is there where federal investigators will start looking into what caused this aircraft to go down. From the air, you can see this debris field in Silmar, where a twin-engine Cessna went down on an embankment off the 210 freeway. And then all of a sudden, you heard like this, boom. And then when we went over there, we didn't see no smoke, nothing was on fire. It happened a few hundred yards from a group home where this man was working in the garage. We heard the boom. Boss said, there's a plane crash. He said, see if you can help him. And I ran over there, jumped the fence, and it's too nothing we could do. Right now, uh, what we have is it looks like there's just one lone occupant who is deceased. The LAPD and LACD fire both got calls about a plane down around 12.30 p.m. Officers found the plane on a ledge, so they climbed up the embankment to stabilize it with firefighters. Fortunately, it was not on the 210 freeway because things would have obviously have been a lot worse. The plane came down in an area that's surrounded by power lines. We did not get any information that to, to tell us that the uh, power lines were involved in the airplane crash. First responders did have to close down two lanes of the westbound side of the freeway. There wasn't any fire. There was a small fuel leak that was contained by the fire resources. We built a small burn to kept, keep the, the fuel from leaking down onto the freeway. While only one person died in the tragedy, witnesses say they're thinking about the lives left behind. You're in our deepest prayers and you have our deepest sympathy. And at this point, investigators are working to figure out where this flight originated and where it was heading. We're live in Silmar, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.